my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bba second semester subject business statistics as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision Unit 1 first important short question is define statistics statistics is the science of collecting organizing analyzing and interpreting data to make better decisions in simple words it helps us understand what the numbers say example a shopkeeper wants to know which item sells the most he collects daily sales data of chips cold drinks and biscuits by using statistics he finds that chips sell the most now he can stock more chips and increase his profit use in business finding which product sells best understanding customer preferences planning future sales reducing business risk easy tip to remember Statistics tells the story behind numbers. It turns boring numbers into useful information. Just like a magnifying glass helps you see small things clearly, statistics helps businesses see the big picture hidden in data. So, statistics is equal to smart decisions using data. It's everywhere from business to cricket scores, from weather reports to online shopping trends next important short question is to what are the limitations of statistics limitations of statistics statistics is very useful but it also has some limitations it helps in decision making but we should be careful while using it limitations one only deals with numbers Statistics only works with quantitative data, numbers, not feelings or opinions. Example: It can tell how many students failed, but not why they failed. Two can be misused. Wrong data or wrong methods can give false results. Example: A company may show only selected data to look successful. Three does not show the full picture. statistics gives averages not individual details example if the average income is 30000 rupees some may earn 10000 rupees others 60000 rupees four needs skilled people it must be used by people who understand it well example wrong graphs or calculations can confuse decision makers easy tip to remember Statistics is powerful but not perfect. So, always use statistics wisely like a sharp knife. It's useful only in skilled hands. Next important short question is 3 discuss the applications of statistics. Applications of statistics. Statistics is used in many fields to understand data and make smart decisions. it turns raw numbers into useful information where is statistics used one business helps in tracking sales profits and customer behavior example a company uses statistics to find which product sells best two economics used to measure gdp inflation unemployment etc example government uses stats to plan the budget 3 education used to analyze student performance example schools check average marks to find weak subjects 4 healthcare used to study diseases and treatment success example hospitals track recovery rates using statistics 5 sports used to track players performance example cricket scores and batting averages are statistics easy tip to remember 
wherever there are numbers, statistics is there. So, from business to cricket, statistics helps in better understanding, planning and decision making. Next important short question is, for primary and secondary data. Primary and secondary data. In statistics, data means information we collect. There are two main types, primary data and secondary data. Primary data. This is the data you collect yourself for the first time. It is fresh, original and specific to your study. Example, a teacher gives a survey to students to find out how many hours they study daily. That's primary data. More accurate. Takes more time and effort. Secondary data. This is the data already collected by someone else. You just use it for your purpose. Example, reading a government report on literacy rates, this is secondary data. Easy to get. May not be exactly what you need. Easy tip to remember. Primary is equal to I collect. Secondary is equal to I select from others. So, when you need direct answers, use primary data. When you need quick facts, use secondary data. Next important short question is. 5. What is bar diagram? Bar diagram. A bar diagram is a way to show data using bars, rectangles. It helps us compare different things quickly by looking at the length or height of bars. Each bar represents a value and longer bars mean bigger values while shorter bars mean smaller values. Example A shopkeeper wants to compare sales of three items in a week. Biscuits, 500 rupees. Chocolate, 800 rupees. Chips, 300 rupees. He can draw three bars of different heights to show this. Chocolate will have the tallest bar, chips the shortest. Uses Comparing sales, marks, profits, etc. Easy to understand, even for non-math people. Types Simple bar diagram shows one value per item. Multiple bar diagram compares two or more values side by side. Easy tip to remember. Bars speak louder than numbers. Bar diagrams make boring numbers visual and fun to understand. Next unit 1. Long questions. First important long question is. Write about the scope and importance of statistic. What is the scope of statistics? The scope of statistics means the areas where statistics is used. It is not just about numbers, it's about using those numbers to make smart decisions. Today, almost every field uses statistics to plan, analyze, and improve performance. Areas where statistics is used. 1. Business and industry. To understand sales trends, customer behavior, profits, and losses. Example. A company checks which product is selling the most using sales data. 2. Economics and government. To study inflation, GDP, unemployment, etc. Example, the government uses statistics to prepare the annual budget. 3. Education. To check students' performance and results. Example, schools analyze exam results to find which subject needs improvement. 4. Health and Medicine To track diseases, recovery rates, and medicine effects. Example During COVID-19, stats helped track cases and vaccine effects. 5. Sports To compare players' performance. Example Cricket scores, batting averages, and win-loss records. 6. Social Studies to understand population, literacy, poverty, etc. Example, census data helps plan new schools and hospitals. Importance of statistics. Helps in decision making.
businesses and governments use data to make smart plans. Saves time and money. By understanding trends, we avoid guesswork. Simplifies complex data. Big numbers are made easy using charts and graphs. Useful for research. Helps in testing ideas and proving results. Easy tip to remember. Statistics is the mirror of truth in numbers. It shows what's really happening in a clear and simple way. Conclusion Statistics is a powerful tool used in every part of life. From cricket to classrooms and hospitals to shops, statistics helps in making better, faster and smarter decisions. Next important long question is to explain the various methods of data collection. Methods of data collection To understand anything using statistics, the first step is to collect data. There are different methods to collect data, depending on what kind of information we need and how we plan to use it. 1. Direct personal interview You ask people face to face and note their answers. Example. A teacher asks students personally about their study hours. Accurate. Time-consuming. 2. Indirect oral interview. You ask others about someone else. Example, a reporter asks villagers about the health of an old farmer. Useful when the person is not available. May not be fully accurate. 3. Questionnaire method. A set of questions is given to people, written or online, and they answer. Example, Google Forms used in college surveys. Easy and cheap. People may skip or give wrong answers. 4. Schedule method. A trained person fills out the form by asking questions. Example, Government census workers collect population data. Accurate. Needs trained staff. 5. Observation method. You watch people or things directly without asking. Example, a store manager watches which product customers pick the most. No bias. Cannot know the reason behind actions. 6. Use of secondary data. Using data already collected by others, like books, reports, websites. Example, Using RBI's data for a banking project saves time. May not be exactly what you need. Easy tip to remember. Doxo direct, oral, questionnaire, schedule, secondary, observation. Conclusion. Choosing the right method of data collection is very important. It helps us get the correct information in the best way, saving time, effort, and cost. Remember, good data is equal to good decisions. Next important long question is 3. Explain the types of tabulation and its advantages. What is tabulation? Tabulation means arranging data in the form of tables, rows and columns. It helps to present data clearly so it becomes easy to understand and compare. Types of tabulation 1. Simple tabulation, one-way table. Shows data based on only one factor. Example, a table showing the number of students in different classes. 2. Double tabulation, two-way table. Shows data based on two factors. Example, a table showing number of boys and girls in each class. 3. Complex tabulation. Shows data using more than two factors. Example, a table showing class-wise, gender-wise, and pass-fail data of students. Advantages of tabulation. 1. Clear presentation. Large data is shown neatly in a small space. 2. Easy to compare. We can easily compare different groups. 3. Saves time. Well-arranged data helps in quick understanding. 4. Helps in analysis. Useful for making graphs, charts, and future planning. 
5. Reduces confusion. Avoids long explanations. Everything is visual. Easy tip to remember. Tabulation is like a table of truth, clean, clear and complete. Conclusion. Tabulation helps to turn messy data into simple tables that are easy to read, compare and understand. It's a smart way to tell a story through numbers. Next important long question is. 4. What are the functions of graphs? Advantages and limitations of graphs. Functions, advantages and limitations of graphs. What is a graph? A graph is a picture that shows data in a visual form. It helps us understand numbers quickly and easily. Functions of graphs. 1. Easy understanding of data. Graphs show trends and patterns in a simple way. Example, a line graph showing monthly sales helps you spot if sales are rising or falling. 2. Quick comparison. You can compare two or more items easily. Example, a bar graph comparing marks of students in different subjects. 3. Attracts attention. Graphs look more interesting than numbers in tables. 4. Helpful in analysis. Graphs help in making business decisions by showing real trends. Advantages of graphs. Simple and clear. Even non-math people can understand. Saves time, you don't have to read long tables. Visual impact, data looks more attractive and meaningful. Highlights key points. Easily shows highest, lowest and changes over time. Limitations of graphs. 1. Not always accurate. If drawn incorrectly, graphs can give the wrong message. 2. Needs skill. Graphs must be made carefully with correct scale and labels. 3. Cannot show all details. Graphs give a quick idea but may miss deeper insights. 4. Not useful for small data. For very little data, graphs are not needed. Easy tip to remember. Graphs make numbers talk but only if drawn right. Conclusion Graphs are a powerful tool in statistics. They help to see, compare and decide faster. But they must be used carefully to avoid confusion or wrong conclusions. Use them wisely to make your data shine.